Are you happy for me to be recording this? Yeah, that's fine. Could I quickly ask your first name if it's okay, please? Kate. Kate. Um, do you live around here? Yes. Right. Do you work around locally? Well? Yeah, uh, not locally, but I do, uh, do you work, work in London. Sort of like, yeah. As, as far as <laughs> London can be local. So, in terms of like the Hornsey Town Hall Arts Centre, do you have any aspirations for what it would be? Have you sort of engaged with it yet? Um, yeah. Well, yeah, just the community space. Um, things like this which is great it's my main aim your main aim my main aim for it would be to have a community space you know my kids the older children who like to run around in the green yeah so sort of family orientated as well as yeah. community yeah, yeah. Um, how could they make sure that what they offer is relevant and interesting to you and sort of your family I guess um, heavy well, <laughs> well I guess keeping the space open for different events yeah varied events what, what would open food arts crafts what would open constitute in terms of sort of like open in terms of plural or open in terms of sort of times we're well, leaving the grass in the front ah, okay. space available to hire for trades and you know craft people yeah um, I guess not making it too expensive to do that for those people yeah yeah, yeah. that's really great feedback thank you um, I'm going to skip to the end. So do you think there's sufficient community access at the moment? And how do you think that could be improved? So we said about making it open. Do you have yeah. any ideas of how they could improve well, I don't that? Know, I, I feel like there's been something, there was like her food market that was weekly. Yeah. And then it was stopped because okay. of issues with the people who own the land. Right. Or with Harringay Council, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's still Harringay who owns it or if it's passed over yet. But that was a shame. That was I a shame. I don't, it seemed like it was a week. We were told it was a weekly market, and then it just stopped. It just stopped until because further notice. Yeah. And I don't know if that. I don't know no, 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 if yeah. there's bureaucratic reasons or financial reasons or whatever reasons there are. Who knows? <laughs> um, and quickly, do you have any concerns about this development that's happening around here? My only concern was if they if they put the price too high for these things to happen. And it's in private hands. So to keep it affordable yeah. like, for community use rather than, you know. It, it's a hard thing to ask and to define. Could I ask you to try and to find affordable? That's all right. Well, for the people who live here. So that, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Without, it's quite cool. without pushing it too far into the boutique hotel, gentry, you know, yeah. so, upper so, echelons of society, so to make it affordable for all families everybody yeah. living in the area would you say it has been before affordable and you want it to continue or do you think it can be more affordable yeah well this is free so it's, yeah. you know and this as is... long as these continue to happen and, it, and the price isn't pushed up for the trades people organising this I think it will be yeah. so affordable for those rather than the people coming I think the event should always be free thank you very quick cheers thank you